There's really no other way to do this other than boom. Red, white, and boom, Merrick Labs, new cans are here. And today we're gonna go through all five of the flavors and talk about which one was my favorite. We've got this pretty dope box from Merrick Labs. They sent us this quite wonderful, uh, you know, constitutions. Basically things coming out are that they've learned a lot in the last few years. They've modified the line to bring it into modern day. And they're confident in short that when you drink this, you're going to feel the awe in watching Star Single Banner waving in the winds, the chills you get from the sound of Ray Charles' God Bless America, blaring out of a, a set of dusty speakers at the ball game, and the pure joy that one time your friend Brad put fireworks in his butt. In all seriousness, I couldn't be more excited for the guys at America Energy. These cans are gorgeous. They have an awesome feel to them with tactile response, uh, it, they, they sheen great and they really stand out. This is gonna look great on some shelves and some refrigerators. And the flavors that we've tried were just absolutely kick-ass, as you'd expect from a brand called American Energy, as well as the guys that you know behind the brand. Lastly, this is one of the few fully disclosed cans in the can market. And really, what do we love more than that in the can market, right? 250 milligrams of acetyl carnitine, 250 milligrams of choline by tartrate, 190 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous, and 50 milligrams of guarana. Between the guarana and the caffeine, you get 200 milligrams of caffeine from all the different sources. Is it the highest dose can in the market? No. But is it still tasty and deliver a lot of results? Yes. It's a, it's a very enjoyable experience. It does what you want out of a can, which is give you energy and some focus. For the most part, if you're picking up an energy can, you're probably picking it up at a store because you want a quick fix of energy, not because you want efficacious doses. But what you're really here for is the flavor. You got everything from County Fair, which looks to be a blue raspberry, to Victory, their classic flavor, which is a cream soda. Freedom, which is a you know bomb pop, bombsicle, red, white, and blue popsicle. Daytona Beach, pineapple mango, my favorite so far that I've had from the betas. And Patriot Punch, which is obviously just a fruit punch. The only bad thing about this video is that if I drank all of these, I'd probably have a heart attack. Actually, it'd be about a thousand milligrams of caffeine, which I'm not all that unproud to say I have drank before. I'm not gonna be doing that today though. I will be sipping all these and telling you which one's my favorite. I'm already biased to Daytona Beach, so I'm putting that further down the list. We're gonna be starting out here with Country Fair, the Blue Raspberry. So, without further ado, let's see if we can get this. Blue Raspberry, a classic flavor. Let's see how it stands up. Heavy carbonation, and I love it. It is subtle, and that's not a bad thing. It is not the world's strongest blue raspberry, and I'm not a big, like, crazy strong blue raspberry guy. It's not make you twist your face in tartness. It's sweet and nice and enjoyable. Beautiful. I love it. I don't know where it's going to place, but as always, each one of these actually has a thing on the back. Oh, the Victory one is the same one from before, but County Fair is obviously new since it's a new one. Anyway, I'm not going to read these out to you because... The brand as a whole is an experience and you guys should be grabbing them and experiencing them for themselves. If you haven't been able to read the writing of our dear friend Kenton Engel, you are in for a treat if you are a fans of the literary genius that is his inner monologue. All right, Victory is a cream soda and I'll be really honest with you, I'm not a cream soda guy. I'm really, really straight here. And especially with energy drinks, nothing against them because some people love them, but I might love this, I might not, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Stand corrected. It's actually delicious. I mean, honest with you, I didn't really like the victory from the last one. From the original red, white, and boom. That's really delicious. There's some soda there, but a lot of that cream. I don't really know what cream soda is, to be honest with you. But it kind of tastes like a mix between Coke and root beer and a whole bunch of vanilla ice cream on top. And I'm here for it. All right, to be completely honest, it's cream soda in first place, blue raspberry in second place. Freedom, my favorite thing in the world. Fourth of July weekend. Let's go. Okay. So this is actually kind of a different take on the bombsicle. Interestingly, first on the tongue, I taste the blue. Then I get the white and the red, which I feel like is usually the opposite. And I really like that it's different because let's be real, refrigerators are already full of tons of energy drinks. I'm a fan of it being a little bit different. Very tasty. It's not the cream soda. I'll be honest with you, cream soda is still raining hard, but that's tasty and enjoyable. On a hot summer day like we're having in Jersey right now, I would like to go for that. I'm gonna switch this Daytona one to the end because if you watch any of our videos, you know that I'm a mango guy and that's just not really fair. 
I want to take that one last. So Patriot Punch, Fruit Punch, classic flavor. If you're going to do it, you got to do it good. So let's see how Gore did here. Really good. There's a lot of different fruits on here. Apples, grapes, watermelon, orange, cherry. Is that a pear in the back? Strawberry. You actually get a little bit of the apple and the pear and the citrus on the end. You get a lot of the sweet, you know, grape, watermelon, stuff like that. But you get like, I don't know. I don't know what you would call pear and apple. It's it's not as like, sh like striking of a sweetness. It's a really nice mix of different flavors. It's not smashy in the face sweet. And that's, I think, probably a pretty good theme of the first four is if you're used to caffeinated water that tastes like rosé and like other obnoxious unicorn flavors this is different and i'm here for it daytona beach the ringer the mango the pineapple mango i'm sorry but i think this one's gonna smash them all out for me it's pineapple mango for me it's that for me pineapple mango beats everything always if i had to put them in order which is tough because they're all really different and honestly you could have like a different one every day for a different reason it goes Daytona Beach, Cream Soda Freedom, which is a big deal because I didn't think I was gonna like it. Fruit Punch, and then I hate to say last place because they're all great. I almost wanna give Freedom and Country Fair a tie because they're very interesting in their own ways. They both have those blue hints on them. Let's give them another, let's give them a little tiebreaker. Freedom has a lot more tart to it than uh, County Fair does. To be completely honest, on the end, there's like a, like a blue is a little more tart part. Probably gonna give Freedom the upper hand, to be honest with you. Because honestly, Blue Raspberry is great, but it does not stand up to the Freedom. So, my rankings, Ben's rankings, completely subjective. With all these things with flavor, it's all subjective. You might be the complete opposite. But for me, it's Daytona Beach, Cream Soda, Fruit Punch, Freedom, County Fair. I'm really sad I'm not gonna be able to finish all of these. I'm honestly probably gonna be chugging them during the editing process because it's gonna keep me up and going. But I can't say enough of how happy I am for America. They came to us with this resto mod idea earlier and I really love it. I mean, I think of like classic American muscle cars with resto mods, you know, and I, I, I'm so happy that they're doing something for themselves. They're taking on some big boys here. They brought on some great talent to really move it. And uh, I just, I couldn't be happy for them. Uh, they're great quality guys. They've moved into an awesome new facility um, and they're really stepping up all of their things across the board, whether it's for Core, America or America Energy. So support the guys, go grab them at a store. Uh, they, they should be at tons of different stores. They're gonna be distributed very widely. And, uh, and yeah, love it, happy for them. I have to say I got these for free. Obviously it came in this beautiful box. You're not gonna get the box. It's, I, I did get it for free. We do have a business affiliate relationship. I, there is some bias there, let me be honest with you. I like the product, I'm happy for them. I like the panel. Um, I like that it has a little bit extra in there with the choline and the guarana and the acetyl carnitine, even if it might not be the biggest doses that some uh, you know, sticklers in the industry are gonna be looking for. I respect energy cans for what they are. You know, are th there, there might be higher dose ones out there, but energy cans are energy cans. You're looking for it for a convenient, quick burst of energy. And this comes with a little bit extra than just caffeine and a carbonated flavored drink. So uh, there's a lot of big companies that you could support out there that, you know, hire girls in bikinis to promote it. Or you could support a American quality company with good people behind it with, you know, great morals and the best of, uh, interests for the industry. And for myself, that's enough for me to choose a brand like America. So uh, thanks so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate you making this part of the video. I know I just kind of rambled on about flavors. I usually do a lot better videos on science, but I wanted to kind of bring something different for flavors today. If you have any questions, you can leave them below. Uh, I have tried to commit these flavors to memory, and if you want to know the more nuanced parts of these flavors, I might be able to explain it to you. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a flavor guy. I like the science, but these guys did a great job with the flavors, and uh, I can help as much as possible. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Welcome to Price File.